North Korea has unveiled its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile yet, the Hwasong-20, a solid-fueled ICBM designed to strike targets anywhere in the world. Debuting on October 10, 2025, during the 80th anniversary of the Workers' Party, the Hwasong-20 marks a major leap in Pyongyang's nuclear arsenal, and experts say Russian technology may have played a role in its development. The missile uses a solid fuel engine producing 1,960 kilonewtons of thrust, similar to the earlier Hwasong-19. Mounted on an 11-axle transporter erector launcher, it can be fired on short notice. No fueling delays, no early detection. Its blunt, cone-shaped warhead suggests the potential for MARV capability, carrying multiple nuclear warheads that can target separate locations. Its guidance system combines inertial navigation with satellite or optical correction, improving accuracy to a 3 to 5 kilometer CEP. Between 2023 and 2024 2025, North Korea conducted eight static engine tests with the final one overseen by Kim Jong-un himself, signaling readiness for operational deployment. Analysts link this breakthrough to increasing Moscow-Pyongyang cooperation. North Korea reportedly supplied artillery and manpower to Russia's war in Ukraine, possibly in exchange for missile and propulsion technologies. The Hwasong-20's introduction marks a turning point.